Hey everybody, it's K-Ball here from Zurb. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about one of the new components available for you in the Foundation 6.3 release. This is a component folks have been asking about for literally years. The so-called Tabs Accordion, or a responsive Tabs Accordion component, lets you define a component that is tabs at one breakpoint and accordions at another. This is a key responsive element for displaying content at different screen sizes. So let's hop into the code and see how it works. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a basic accordion, foundation accordion, taken straight out of the documentation. I just copied and pasted the docs. So it's starting from just an accordion. Uh, you can see it has a data accordion attribute on the list that is what's labeling this as an accordion. And then we have the items within it. We have simple item, one with a little form in it. You can see that down here if we scroll down to the code. This is just a basic accordion. If we want to make this responsive, say this accordion feels really awkward at a large screen. We want it to stay an accordion small, but we want to make it responsive so that at a larger screen it has tabs. It's super simple. We change it from being this data accordion to being a data responsive accordion tabs. And we tell it what are our breakpoints. So we're going to say it's an accordion and then starting on large, it's going to be tabs. Save it. And that should be enough. In fact, you can see that the code pen is already updated. Down here, we have this now as tabs. But if we are to resize our screen, once we get down to a medium breakpoint, suddenly it shifts into an accordion and stays that way going small. We can actually split this around too. So say we wanted for some bizarre reason, we wanted tabs to be on medium, but an accordion on small and large. We can do that too. We just go right back up and instead of saying accordion large tabs, we say accordion medium tabs and large accordion. This follows the same uh, mobile first breakpoint approach that the rest of foundation does. So this says we're an accordion by default, medium size switch to tabs, large size go back to accordion. Let's look at that real quick. We're still on large, we're at an accordion. We scroll down and in medium, we become tabs, go back down to an accordion or to small and you're an accordion again. So that's how you can take an accordion and turn it quickly into a responsive accordion tabs. Let's also look starting from tabs. The markup on tabs is a little different. You have a separate a list of your tabs and then a div that contains the content. But the mechanism that we use to turn this into a responsive accordion tabs is exactly the same. We're gonna go in, take that data tabs attribute and change it into a data responsive accordion tabs attribute, and we have the same thing. So in this case, uh, we'll let's do flip our breakpoints around. So we're gonna do tabs at small, and starting at medium, go up to an accordion. Save it, and voila, at our large breakpoint, we're an accordion. Scroll down to medium, still an accordion. Get down to small, and we're in tabs. That's it. That's how easy it is. You can take your existing tabs and your existing accordions and straight away turn them into responsive accordion tabs. All right, so now you've seen how you can take your existing tabs components and your existing accordion components and turn them into a responsive tabs accordion that looks great on any device. If you wanna learn more about the new components available to you in Foundation 6.3, check out one of our upcoming webinars. If you're more novice, check out the intro webinar. And if you've already got good amount of skills under your belt, check out the advanced webinar. I'm an instructor in both and I hope to see you there. Oh, and if you're getting these videos but you want to see more of what's coming out from Zurb, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're publishing new videos all the time and there's tons of great stuff about foundation, design, and all sorts of things. So check it out. So that's it for this lesson. You can check things out in more detail below. Click through to the links, check it out in CodePen, and we'll see you next week. See ya.